Hello everyone, it's CW. This is my first YouTube video. I decided to make one because I wanted to join in at, um, a YouTuber uh, book roast. Year 3 OWL's Magical Readathon. Yay! I know, I'm an amateur. Give me a break. Um, it sounds like it'll be a great amount of fun. I will link her video below so you guys um, can get all the information about it. The key points are that you're taking your owls, your OWLs, starting April 1st till April 30th. You have to pick a career path so you know what eight OWLs you need to achieve in order to be able to take your NEWTs, which are in August. Book Gross has uh, the link has linked everything for you, so you just have to go through. I picked my career as a wand maker, and I want to take a um, animagist training. It's year three, so of course, it's my favorite book, The Prisoner of Azkaban, which um, there's going to be contests and questions and stuff like that you have to answer throughout the thing. So you're definitely going to want to touch up on the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban reading. I've decided to read the illustrated version of it because I got this for Christmas from my husband and I think it's time that I read it. So for the wand maker, I need ancient ruins, arithmacy, care of magical creatures, charms, and herbology in order to, I have to pass those in order to be able to go do my newts for it. And for the animosity training, I need arithmacy, potions, and transfigurations. Each class has a prompt what you need to read in order to pass that class. This video is me documenting my to be read list. So I will say the class, what the prompt is, and what book I'm reading. So I'm going to start with the very first book, which the very first one I need, which is Ancient Ruins. And the prompt for Ancient Ruins is it has to have a heart on the cover of the book or in the title. So I picked Hate, A Love Story by Lauren Ulin Curtis. Oh, I hope I didn't mess her name up. Um, I got this book at a convention, a book convention. It's a female, male, female love triangle. The back of the book doesn't give a lot of information, but I believe it's set in a high school. So... But I went on Goodreads and the reviews are really good and I figure it's probably about time that I read this book since I've had it now for a couple of years. So I, this is the first one I'm going to do. For Arithmacy, it is read something outside of your favorite genre. Well, this one's kind of hard for me because I read a little bit of everything. So what I did was is I told my husband... I had my husband pick the book out for me, and I'm going to read Robin Hobbs' Shaman's Crossing. And this is, it's book one of the Soldier Sun trilogy. And it's not a type of book that I would normally read, but it's something my husband loves to read. So I thought I would give it a chance since I needed to get out of my normal genre. So I was like, I told my husband, I was like, pick a book that you know I've never read before. Pick something for me to read. And this is what he picked. So this is, um, I'll be starting this. Care of Magical Creatures is a creature with a beak on the cover of the book. So I went searching through all my books and the only one I found was this Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This is actually the version of the book that's it's the British version of the book. So I've never read this one before. I picked it up at Savers because I thought the cover was like really pretty and stuff. And then I found it afterwards. So this one will actually be a lot of fun to read because I'm going to be, there's going to be words in it that I don't know what they mean because they're going to mean something totally different overseas than they do in the United States. But I don't care. I still want to do it. So this is my uh, Care of Magical Creatures. For Charms, it had to be a book with a white cover. So, for Charms, I picked the, the Scene by R.M. Gilmore. Now, this 
I got at a book convention also. I picked up the whole series, but I haven't sat down and read it all the way through. So this series is about uh, Dylan Hart. She's a 20-something journalist that she's not your typical heroine. She got a big butt and a big mouth. She cusses. She is searching for who's draining women of their blood in L.A., um, the media has dubbed it the Vampire Massacre. These are not Twilight vampires. That's why it says these are not your daughter's vampires. This one, I think, is going to be fun to read. And I really can't wait to start it because once I get this one done, I can read the rest of the series, which I haven't had the time to read it because of work and stuff. But now that we're at home, I think I'll finally be able to read this series, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. For Herbology, the title starts with an M. I had two books to choose from in my house that had started with an M, and I chose to go with this one um, called um, Makeup or Breakup by Kate Welshman. It's a choose-your-own-ever-after book, and... I bought this series, I bought this book for my daughter, but she never read it, so I decided I'm going to try and read it. The series is about Allie and her best friend Kat. Um, they're both starting high school. Uh, Allie is used to doing whatever Kat tells her to do, and now in high school she wants to make a break for it and not, and you have to decide if Allie's going to go along with Kat, what Kat says or not, and so I think it's going to be a really fun book to read. For potions, it's a book under 150 pages. So another book from a book convention I got was Across the Rainbow. And this is an anthology about teens um, who are gay, lesbian, bi, or trans. So I thought I would check this one out. It looks like it's going to be fun. Um, there's... It looks like there's six different stories in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about the light. It's like right in the middle. Um, it's about six different um, stories. I think it's going to be really good. It's um, you're gonna. It's teens across the spectrum and everything. It's less than 150 pages, so it works for potions. I I really just. I got so many books at a book convention that I need to start reading them, and this is going to be the first one that is under 150 that I'm going to read. This one I wanted to read at first, but then I got super busy, and I forgot to go back and read it. So we'll see how this goes. And finally, for Transfiguration, it's a book or series that includes shape sifting. So I got Gina... Showwater's Heart of the Dragon. It's about a shape-shifting warrior who protects the gates of Atlantis and a woman named Grace who is trying to find her missing brother. I uh, actually read some... I was reading Gina's uh, other series, which was about... Um, oh, my goodness... Her other series that was about, um, it was like the Deadly Sins and stuff like that. Lust, Sloth, Wrath, and all that. It was like after Pandora's box gets open and all the stuff goes out into the world. It's easier. It was the people that were supposed to be guarding the box. And I really like that series. It's the darkest. So I thought I would check this word, uh, this one out. Um, cause the other series is called Lords of the Underworld. And then this one is like, the Atlanta stories. So this is the book that I picked for my transfiguration. So I'm really excited to start this whole series of books and stuff. Let me get a better picture of this is my stack of books that in this starts tomorrow. And I think it's going to be really fun. I hope other people want to do it, but I really just wanted to record what I was going to, be reading as a way to make myself accountable that I'm putting it out there that this is the stuff I'm reading. All right, and I will talk to you guys later.